I've seen studies that show that the use of medical marijuana alleviates many of the symptoms of multiple sclerosis as well as other debilitating diseases. So we're going to meet up with my mom who suffers from multiple sclerosis to ask her about the drugs that she uses and their side effects and how that would change if she used medical marijuana. One of the drugs that she uses is oxycodone prescribed by her doctor and it's actually the same drug that that led to the death of of, uh, of my little cousin. So so we're going to be speaking with her uh, about these drugs and and, uh, and the side effects. So they put me on OxyContin, and this OxyContin. When, when did you start using that? Oh, like three years ago, and I don't take it every single day though. I try to take it when I'm really in horrible pain, like. I have pain every day, but I'll take a Tylenol or two. And the time I have real bad pain, which I can't even get out of bed to go to the bathroom, then I will take this. And my girlfriend took it for three years because her daughter died. She had a lot of, you know, issues. And she couldn't even get off of them. She, she was going through withdrawals and, and, they, and she ended up in the hospital, so. But there have been, there have been times when you thought I don't take this every day. There were times when you thought you, you thought you took too many. Oh, yeah. There were times like I took like uh, two days in a row and I felt like I wouldn't even wake up. I, I felt like I could sleep for two days and wouldn't even get out of bed. But the doctor said there was no problem with you taking no, it for two no days No, no problem. No problem, I could take no it problem with taking when I it want it. Every day. Probably one tablet every six hours needed for pain. And, you know, you could take it every six hours, uh, but then I would probably be a basket case. And I try not to take it that much because look what happened to Brad, my See, nephew. You, th look. you think about the fact that. Right, he, he was on this and he died. And now they have some places, you know, having the um, cannabis for pain for MS and uh, different other, you know, uh, diseases, the, you know, like lupus and things that people have. And they would, um, you know, feel better. And I don't think it's habit forming. I think, you know, at my age, I'm 69 years old. What am I going to do? Use it for recreation? No. I would take one like I take this. Before I go to bed, I, I might do a little and maybe feel better. And I tried it in when I went to Amsterdam. I just wanted to see, you know, what it was like, what they were talking about. And I know I, I've never been to Colorado or places where they had it, California. But I went to Amsterdam and I went in a coffee shop and there was 135 coffee shops. You can get it very easy. They had like low dose, medium and high. You know, so I took the mild, the low dose, and I smoked the cigarette. I didn't even cough. I mean, it went down very mild. It was a low dose, they said, but I felt great. I had my walker, but I walked around the whole town. I couldn't believe it. I wasn't falling asleep. I just walked and walked and talked to people, and I felt great, and I can't believe that I could walk all that way, get back on the bus and the train, and get back on the boat without any pain at all. In a few hours, you know, it started wearing off when I got on the boat, but the whole time walked around the streets with no back problem, no, you know, just no pain. I just felt good and I said, wow, this stuff could really work. And so I figured if they ever get it in Florida, maybe I could try. I would definitely be a candidate for it. My doctor said that I would be if I needed it and, uh, I'm hoping that they have it so I can be a candidate and have that. So this way I wouldn't be hooked on these because if I take OxyContin every day and what three times a day, I couldn't imagine. Are you tired of the establishment, career politicians who could be bought that vote for me? I'm Joe Kaufman and I approve this message.